Welcome back to Let's Play Dangon Ronpa. My name's Four Mile, and we're in a bedroom. A pro I'm assuming it's our bedroom. What the fuck is this? It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed, except it's ridiculously angular. Ridiculously angular. Anyway. Uh, let's see. This looks to be a dorm key. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, uh, which means it must be mine, right? Or you have a body double. Who knows? I'd better hang on to it for now. What is this? Some kind of monitor. Ugh. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. That's fine. How about the security camera? A surveillance camera? Oh, no. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I better make sure I don't touch it. What if I just throw things at it? It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Uh, okay. Oop. Can't go any more that way. What about... The oh, here we go. There's a piece of paper hanging on the wall, which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. So, let's put a pin in this real quick. Let's assume, for example, that a, um... A character says, oh, I couldn't have been the murderer because uh, I was taking a shower. I was in my room taking a shower. Well, now we know that the water's turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. Because we are sexist as hell. Sewing kit includes a map of the body's vitally organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Okay, never mind. I... You, you, you handed me something, and I made an assumption, and then you beat me up for it. So that works for the boys. We believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel. And let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Where's my toolkit? I need my toolkit. Give me a toolkit. What the fuck? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Down. Up. Nope. This whole 2.5D bullshit is a little weird. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? Well, I've already picked up a key, so, you know, good for me. This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh, it's not opening. I guess it's locked. Uh, inventory or this? Truth bullets. That's so weird. What about in here? Nope, that is a bed. That's fine. I'm looking for my toolbox. Looks like there's something in the drawer. Huh? <gasps> it's a toolkit! Must be brand new, it's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. No! Take it with you! Arm yourself, you dumbass! I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will seen it be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. No shit! Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious, so that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Okay, fine. Uh, my question is, who would have... Who would have taken us out of the room, or uh, away? Because if we're unconscious, we're technically sleeping, which means that if we're technically sleeping, we are sleeping in class. So you could conceivably, I guess, kill someone by making them break enough of the rules, by knocking them out, leaving their bodies someplace, and then them being like, oh, you're sleeping in class, go fuck yourself. Leave the area? Absolutely. Thank you. I rushed out of the room to meet up with the others, <clears throat> but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Ah! Wham. Ah! <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Sayaka. Sorry. Are you okay? Oh, you're gonna talk for me. I'm fine. I hope you're Jesus okay. Christ, I'm gonna Ugh. Oh, please give me the energy to go on. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. 
I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> that was a weirdly earnest laugh. You make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. But are you okay? You know from when Mondo hit you. That's true, I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Hi, that's my name. What? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Um. Actually, I came here to get you. You came to get me? Listen. Well, if you're really feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? That's what's going on? Then of course I'll go with That's you. Good. good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Uh, Byakya. I'm gonna make sure to put C4 right outside this motherfucker's door. He's on my shit list, Mondo. Oh, I have a, I'm right across the hall from Mondo? Jesus. <gasps> we have adjoining walls! Aw, uh, wait. I thought that there was a separate girl's dorm and a boy's dorm. Oh, uh, that's weird. Junko. Toko. Chihiro. Celeste. Aoi. Sakura. Leon, Yasuhiro, and Hifumi, and that's it. Okay, ooh. Man, there's bolts over everything. Shit's weird, yo. What about it in here? What is this? Everyone's meeting up at the dining hall. I should head there myself. Why wouldn't I just explore things a little bit? I'm guessing that's a boy's room and a girl's room. Then again, if I make suppositions about gender rules or anything, this game's already gone through and kind of fucked me over on that, so Hope's Peak Academy. Whoop. This is where the classrooms and stuff are. I don't have any reason to go that way right now. I should meet up with everyone at the dining hall. There we go. Why, why all this wasted space? This is just so weird. What about this? Laundry. Why is it kind of spray painted up there? Everyone's meeting up at the dining Fine, 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 fine. Bath. Is there gonna be a bath scene thing? Are we gonna, is there gonna be a bath scene? God damn it. Can't even have like a regular old fashioned game without shit and... Ugh. This is the only thing that's keeping me going right now. I've been recording all day, so just FYI. That energy drink is the only thing that's getting me through. This must be the dormitory or dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean, so that's good. Or I guess that's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Okay, let's just wait here. Huh, you heard like that? I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial! Right now, I'd like to talk to you about reactions! You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? You'd better steal yourself, get your balls in your hand, and give them a squeeze! The fresh test- oh, I don't know, dude, the fucking- I'm just talking now, and just like, gird your loins! You're about to talk to a woman! A girl. Whatever. Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use WASD buttons to make a selection and the left mouse button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. We all know what you're here for. Y'all gonna try to get with that? I, okay, that's cool. But uh, y'all gonna have to get this reaction shit down pat because that's not gonna happen on its own. Let's just search around before we do any of this. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now, it's just showing the school crest. Except it's not, it's showing a black screen. I don't even want to think about what he might show up on that thing next. Ugh. What about a plant? A security camera. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me. What is nice? Wait, why did I get a little thing for that? That's weird. 
Wait, we can see outside, right? What what sort of ne oh, okay, that's this is weird. This is freaking me out. This whole 2.5 D bullshit is weird. Is there anything else here? All right, I guess we're talking to you. Hey, um By the way, Makoto. Oh, what is um, it? Well, it's just I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Really? I wonder what she wants to ask me. Maybe I should ask her first. Oh, did I fuck up the hey, reaction thing? God damn it, I, I pressed the wrong button again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I keep on pressing buttons. This. Wing, 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 wing. I wanted to ask you something. Boom. What did you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually I was. I knew it! We're lifelong friends! You just forgot about me because everyone in this particular series of anime has amnesia every two years! <laughs> what the fuck is- what? Was, I went there too, I was in class four though, do you remember me? Fuck no, of course not, or else I would have said so. Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. What do you mean, how could I forget? It wasn't mentioned at all! It wasn't mentioned at all! It, it, as far as I remember... Oh, fucking... Fuck this. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um, hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised as all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. We went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Ev even everyone normal? Every normal per- whatever. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange, that's- Huh, <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. And as I turned my back towards her, she withdrew the knife from her sewing kit and stabbed me through the heart. And I died. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever That's seen. Good. Wow, you are falling hard and fast, my friend. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to you, all you ultimates, but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm gonna become your ultimate assistant. Wait, what? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. Assistant helping me do what exactly? I'm going to help you out as much as I can. So let's get out of here together. Oh Okay, when she says things like that, it, it just gets me pumped <laughs> Pumped up how go on <laughs> Which is nice, but still everyone else is still late besides that I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. It's right fucking there It's right there. Look at the clock uh, so what time is it right now? Oh shit, there's no hands on that clock. What, seven o'clock at night? Uh, um. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see, without being able to look out the window, I lost all sense of time. Ugh, excuse me, if I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go hey, crazy. Um. I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Tuck threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Whoa, holy shit, I forgot that that was you. Ah, Makoto, Sayaka, so you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beaten everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. That's a bit much, don't you think? Oh, God, I'm already getting worn out. <laughs> And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the, di in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Whatever you say, Captain. Oh, oh God, you're gonna make me talk to everyone again? No! Oh my god. Wait, hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. Oh yeah, Kyoko. What about her? She's not here. What? What? 
I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. She is ninja. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko. You're really gonna be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone that she would be late. Most unbecoming personality trait. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Now then, I declare that the first session of Hope Speak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do it. Hmm, you know. Huh, what's up? I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? No, you've done literally nothing for me. One, two, we haven't had any sort of, like, trials together, so I can't... I don't think so. And three, you come at me with anything sharp, I will headlock you and... And that's it. You're just... That's... You're done. You're, you're done. You're done, son. You done. <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. Well, that's nice to know. No, you've act you've already done so much as my assistant. She's done nothing. She's done jack shit. All she's done is smiled at you and been like, I have boobs and estrogen and I'm just cute in general. That's you. She hasn't done anything. She hasn't done anything. She's just said words. Oh my god. Alright, fine, whatever. I just oh god, you're gonna make me talk to everyone. I, I I have time to do this. Sure. Why the fuck not? Oh god, he's like over there. I couldn't even see him. There we go. Oh my god. Um Who do I even start with? <laughs> This, this this recording has already got a bit of shit show, <laughs> so let's start with you. What's up? Oh. Oh. I'm only allowed to talk to her. I'm not allowed to talk to anyone else. Okay. So since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... Yakya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. <gasps> Tell me about Taka. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... There I made a discovery of the century! I found that there was exactly one room for each person! Oh. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms had been assigned already. Oh. And each room key was attached to a keychain, with the owner's name precision etched onto it, just like my muscles are precision etched onto my bones, so they can precision etch my fists into your precisionly etched face. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. How did you find that out? Um... Your next-door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing, which makes them perfect for murdering, among other things, but mostly murdering. <laughs> well, each room also has a private bathroom, which could also lock, mm. but it, most, it looked like there were lonely locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh, but when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. Uh, that's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Well, better to have them than not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. That can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? Got it. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Uh ha 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 ha. Okay, fine. Um. Okay, since you're in the dark about. Cool. Wing, 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 wing. I wanted to try and find some clues to who is responsible for imprisoning us here, but unfortunately I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Really? That's it? If I had uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. You're a piece of shit, and I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Right, understood. Let's try this again. Okay. And so did Kyoko. It looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chihiro all grouped up together. 
Let's see what they've got. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was nothing, not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. I, I know what you can do. You could cry about it. Go ahead. I'll wait. No, I won't. The school really has been totally cut off. This is This bad. sucks. Bad, bad, it really bad, bad, sucks. Bad. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Let's do this again. God, they're gonna, this is so tiring. The same goes for Hinaka, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi were left over, so they joined up. All right, let's see what Hina, Sakura, and whatever her name is. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. But we didn't find a thing, sorry. Oh, that sorry was really earnest. Oh, no. Yo, Yo what's up, punk cornhead? I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura and me what? both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. It was hard as, like, metal. No. <laughs> yes, indeed. Indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. I am a robot. Anyway, if we're going to get out of here, it's not going to be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. You're weird. So Holy shit. I shall tell you what happened next with my precision etched mind and eye things. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we were only able to search the first floor. However, we can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Alright, Grandma smokes 20 a day. <laughs> All right, Let's come see. here. Come on, come on, come on, go, go. Okay, boom, boom. Let's see. If I am being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking, just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. My tiny fists will wrap around your neck and... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like, I'd want to go anywhere with a dirty slut. Like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Slut? Your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Dude, she's she's going to up and stab someone. Like, I'm calling. Is there any silverware on these tables? Because she's going to kill someone. I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, All on. right, guys. Everyone just calm down. Smoke this smoke this reefer with me real quick. All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Aww. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. And what did you find out? I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. I guess we don't have to worry about food at least. Sure, for now, but even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? You could just eat sesame seeds or something. Ooh. What am I, a parakeet? What's going on with your eyes? Why are your eyes like... It's weird. I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. How do you know that? Excuse me. How do you know that? At least that's what Monokuma said. Did he? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can appear everywhere. Uh, it can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. <laughs> Eater? What do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Oh. You're creepy! Oh. C come on, man! Bastard. What the hell, fatty? You acting like some kind of sleazy drunk, Actually. dude? No, not like there's a good kind of drunk, dude. Hey, stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. 
She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or something. Now give me my hair gel. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> a voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying mm -hmm. on. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? While you all were talking here, I equipped bombs in all of your rooms. Have fun going to sleep tonight, motherfuckers. You! You! Yoko, where the hell have you been? We've been, we've already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh, what's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? Well, what the? Where did you find this? It doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. Never mind that. What's this mean? Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out is precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak That's Academy. True. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However, I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um, but then this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? What? But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Mm. Hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this. You know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. No. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out my mouth. What? You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stab you in the back of the face! What's well, why problem? are you laughing? What's so funny? I am just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of its time. We d didn't find a way out, didn't find who's, who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. oh, is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Shut the fuck up, you don't know either. Are you okay with this? All right, the way you said that was kind of attention-grabbing and otherwise freaky. Could you not, please? It's perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. You look really like... Are you a dense motherfucker? Or do I really have to lay this shit out? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> we didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us in the face. <laughs> You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? Kill each other. It's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Don't even joke about that. <laughs> Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Like... There's got to be something we can do. All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Living here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you it? understand? You are creepy as fuck. A lack, of, a lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually. As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh, what do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we would be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? You don't have to show me. I know what the rule is. Oh my God. Whatever. Whatever, I know the rules. Keep going. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. <clears throat> the school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But but why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start getting worried and anxious. Mm -hmm. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> If we have to worry about that night after night for no, who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity as n at night as a kind of preventative measure. I don't agree because I want to go outside at night. I am a night person. That's how I work. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What Except for do? you. You are setting, you're setting a rule that you are going to break in the near future and expect everyone else to follow it. And as long as you get away with it got free, you have a leg up. It's a classic scam. I'm on to you. I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Lolita said. Without something like that, we're just going to self-destruct. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. <laughs> hey, you can't just decide to speak for this us. Fine. So everyone is in agreement? Good. <laughs> Everyone's in agreement. Sure. Then if you will excuse me. Huh? Huh, wait, where are you going? It is almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So goodbye.
Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Adaptability. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? Only one person, or one person already left. Um. Well, then, what say we call an end of today's meeting? That works for me. I'm out of... Yeah, I'm out of time. <laughs> like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can re reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. This so we sucks. just have to give up. That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? So we eat. So our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. Aren't you guys going to go to class or something? Like, you're technically supposed to be in high school. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Oh. Then we're done for today? God. Or good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Oh. Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. <sighs> Woo! Doing all those voices is kind of, uh, kind of exhausting me. Is this really where we'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right, I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathrooms should have locks on them, right? Boom! Alright, let's open it up. It's no use, it really is locked! What the fuck? Wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. I don't know, this is weird music, like some kind of robot bear ghost. What are you doing here? Makoto Nayagi, this is super duper majorly bad, so bad it's almost magical. Utter, ultra magical, awful, awful attack. Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that there's a problem. I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked, the door just doesn't fit? Hey, Didn't um, you see the notice? What, can't you read? The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah. I mean, a lock in a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? What do you mean? Ba-bum, ba -bum. Ba -bum, ba Well, it's not that pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door, and that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the door, turn the knob, and lift up while I pull. When I did that, the, or the door opened without a problem. <laughs> Woo, see, it opened right up! Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't quite fit right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Except, except, if someone chases me into this room, trying to kill me, I can go into my bathroom, close the door, and they won't know how to open it. Unless it's muscly Sakura, in which case she could just kick it down, I'm assuming. But whatever. Bye-bye! Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait. Damn it. That's his voice from now on. Ding dong, bing bong. Ding dong, bing bong. If you have not listened to Flying Lotus's Auntie Dot, I think it's Auntie Dot. Not Auntie, not Auntie Dot. Um, the lyrics are infinitum. That's all I know, but it's by Flying Lotus. Look it up. It's the last, it's the last song on the, um, one of his albums. Listen to it. It takes the Big Ben uh, tone and like just makes it into a lullaby and it's beautiful. Anyway, sorry, I got I got real distracted there. I'm out of time. I gotta get going. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a school <sighs> announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -ba -bum. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was, if, it was as if I'd spent the entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to adjust except the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. Whew, so this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. But... What? 
In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hoax Peep Academy and strive to redefine your ideals. Refine your ideals. I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. What was the point of that? Infinitum. Go do the thing. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Oh, good. We're in chapter one now. Or we were in chapter one. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now, which was a very weird thing. Like, okay, I get, I'm all out of time, but I want to make one more point just because this game is playing very much into my healthy paranoia. <laughs> it's very weird. It's very weird that she kind of came in and said, by the way, we're working together now. Because if you were to think of it in the worst case scenario, it's two people that are teamed up early, have a closer bond together, and then when the shit hits the fan and it turns into like a battle royale thing or something, she could basically count on that you're going to hesitate when she stabs you in the back. Or... It's just a, a purely safe thing, and it's playing into a trope of the whole, like, these two kids are the romantic couple of this story. I don't know, but anyway, she did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. I will not go just yet. I'm actually gonna save. Someone in the comments did say that you could save, and I just totally fucked it up, so I'm gonna save. Hooray! All right, I've saved. So, yes... So I am all out of time. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Let's Play Danganronpa. Like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Comment what you think is going to happen next. And if you uh, want to see me do anything in particular with this particular game, I'd be happy to be the hitman for whatever student you want to see die, but not really. Sorry. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>